<laughs> well, well, sir, you've been quite vocal eh, uh, about uh, your position on the petition against uh, for the cancellation of Bongbong Marcos as uh, COC. Um, yeah. Among among others, you've said nga na wala namang jail term uh, na, na ibigay, so hindi talaga count yun. That, I think that also echoes yung sinabi ni Justice, uh, former Justice Carpio. But uh, there were two, two other issues at least uh, presented in the petitions. Mm -hmm. One is yung moral turpitude uh, that, that you've also Perfect. talked about uh, previously. But the other one is yung, uh, yung uh, Section 253 ng uh, National Internal Revenue Code, uh, right. which states nga daw, na those who violate the code are perpetually disqualified from running for public office. They're also not allowed to vote anymore and participate in elections. Uh, what Perfect. about that part, sir? That, that part of the NIRC, where does that stand for? Uh, agree. It's very clear in the NIRC that if you're a public officer, it carries with it that perpetual disqualification. Unfortunately, in the decision, the 2009 decision of the Supreme Court pertaining to Presidential Ball Bongbong Marcos. It is the Supreme Court decision is silent on what we call the accessory penalty of or the penalty even of uh, perpetual disqualification. Hence the debate, hence the argument. Uh, the, walang binanggit ang Supreme Court or is it implied? So that's the debate now and I think that will be the main issue. But, but that not only is it a debate, isn't it the explicit question now? Yes, uh, that is part in that's in the petition, hmm. <clears throat> and that will be answered by by the respondent, the uh, presidential Bong 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 Bong, bong Marcos. No? Hmm. Sir, yeah. but what's what's the rule with accessory penalties? Uh, in in all in all um, uh, all decisions, ba kailangan all the penalties have to be stipulated, even if it is already stipulated in the law. Explicitly, yeah. yeah. Does Let's it have about, to be explicit? Again, the revised penal code that's carried, no. Like uh, what happened to the case of li case of libel of uh, of uh, Congressman Pichai, the case of uh, uh, statutory rape in the case of Congressman Halusos. Halusos. Yes, sir. In, th in this particular case, because uh, NIRC provision, it's a special law, so there's a there's no consensus among lawyers that uh, that it automatically carries with it the accessory penalty. You, you mean there's not even a single president na ganyang similar case na hindi naman in-specify ng Supreme Court uh, then perpetually disqualified yung na-convict? Walang no. ganyang president, not a single? There is uh, for special laws. Yes. And again, the, the argument is uh, you should apply what we apply in, uh, in the penal code in, that ca in those cases. Yes. But again, the other position is it, is, it does not automatically carry with it. No? So, so every case kailangan may specify John? Ganun ba yung justice system natin? Uh, well, again, that's the debate and hopefully this case will resolve that once and for all. Whether the NIRC or any other special law will, if, even if the decision is silent, uh, if it's automatically carried that accessory penalty. Very accusation of uh, moral turpitude. Do you think that's out of the question na? Yeah, in the 2009 case uh, pertaining to uh, Bongbong Marcos, uh, the Supreme Court made, the dis made a distinction amongst three types of offenses pa punishable under the revised penal code. Number one, non-filing of the ITR. Number two, fake filing or fake ITR. And number three, fraudulent filing with the intent of evading tax. No? According to that case, the moral turpitude will only pertain to the fraudulent filing uh, because if it's non-filing or fake ITR, it does not carry with it. it. It is not a crime involving moral turpitude absent any finding of fraud. So, so it so, gives them the benefit of the doubt. It gives the it gives the the, the accused the benefit of the doubt. Na, I mean, among other things that they have. Uh, cited na baka nakalimutan or, or there could have been, yeah, mm. it was in good faith. Ang, ang dilemma ngayon would be, may authority ba ang Commission on Election no, to determine if it's a crime involving moral turpitude? No? Mm. Number two, may authority ba ang Commission on Election to say na carried yung accessory penalty of perpetual disqualification? So, you, uh, mm. Sasabihin ba yun ng COMELEC? I-dismiss ba ng COMELEC? Uh, 
So yun yung inaabangan ng marami. Doon sa perpetual well, well, okay. disqualification, why that, would we not yeah. presume, I mean, never mind the first one, but on the question of you know, perpetual disqualification, I mean, wouldn't you presume that the COMELEC precisely on questions and clauses like that would have, and place it among them, uh, uh, in itself, the authority, would they would not, why would we not assume that they would presume that precisely for a question on uh, uh, qualification and ability for anybody to run, obviously that's, that's COMELEC. Uh, but again, the debate, again, is uh, it might be a judicial issue rather than an issue within the authority of the Commission on Election. One last na lang, no? Uh, isn't that a case of... I mean, I'm just curious. So, uh, wala bang liability for perjury yung mga ganyan? Kasi, uh, di ba, uh, when he filed his, uh, his certificate of candidacy, in essence, he, he, he should have known that uh, that was a, a basic uh, point of disqualification and yet, Diba, there was no declaration of such. Diba, oh, yeah. diba way, uh, there's one essential element that we have not discussed yet, which is essential, mm -hmm. because um, if it's it's a case, it's a case for material misrepresentation. Yes. And the intention is to cancel the certificate of candidacy. No? Mm -hmm. Isang mahalagang elemento would be deliberate attempt to fool the people or defraud the people. No? Mm -mm. Uh, let me give an example. Yung nangyari sa kanyang mother, uh, former first lady, nilagay niya sa certificate of candidacy niya seven months yung residency niya sa Tacloban. Pero mm -hmm. under the constitution, ang requirement qualification yes. sa residency is one year. No? Mm -hmm. so one year, clearly, yes. Well, clearly, based mm -hmm. on the document, hindi siya qualified. No? Mm -hmm. But the Supreme Court said that there was no deliberate intent to defraud and she was actually qualified. Another issue would be yung kay Senator Grace Poe tsaka si Fernando Poe Jr. And just a month ago, the Supreme Court made a ruling sa Abra Mayor. No? Doon yung issue ng citizenship. Sabi ng Supreme Court, ang COMELEC, hindi nagkaroon ng trial kung meron ba talagang intention yung kandidato man loko or man din lang. No? Kaya ang mahalaga sa COMELEC ngayon is assuming established yung fact that hindi siya qualified, kailangan pa rin magkaroon ng hearing ang COMELEC to determine intention ba ng kandidato mm. man loko. That has to okay. be established. 